Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For the past few weeks, I've been wearing this quick weave look. If you would like to see how I got it, please stick around. First things first, let's start off with the hair. This is nothing but leftover hair that I'm literally gonna puzzle piece together to make this quick weave look. So first you wanna braid your hair and part it off into some sections. You got your sections on the sides to have your little leave out, some in the middle. And I just did big four cornrows backwards. So you're gonna need two stocking caps as well as a white eyeliner, just so you can guide and mark your placement. You're gonna place your hair or place the cap on and place all your hair up in the cap, except your leave out, of course. I also went the extra mile and placed a um, shower cap on because I decided that I wanted to make this into a wig. That way I can wash my hair easy, um, easier. If you can also use this extra step to go so you can protect your hair a little bit more just in case the glue does seep through a little bit on your hair. Um, but this is just an extra step that you can use. So now I'm just taking that white eyeliner and I'm marking where my leave out is to make sure that I do not go over that leave out and place the track or the glue where that leave out is. So when I do take off the stocking cap and sew the cap and the wig onto my head that it won't look weird or awkward. So now I'm placing down the first tracks. I'm just measuring and then gluing. So I measure a row, cut that out, and then glue it on. It's pretty much self-explanatory um, as I'm showing you here. And all I'm doing is taking this into a horseshoe parting all the way up and throughout. I know you can see my mouth moving a lot or my lips moving a lot, but I swear I'm not talking to myself and I'm not really talking to you guys. I'm not explaining anything. I am literally on the phone with one of my good friends and we have we were just chatting it up while I was on the phone. So I didn't want anybody to get confused like they're missing any information. So I'm finally finished gluing all the tracks on. So now I'm just cutting out the stocking cap and sewing down the perimeter. This is gonna attach it to my head, that way it does not slip off or if you have any of those accidental, accidental flip hair moments and your whole wig just comes off, we will not have that moment up in here. So I'm just going through and sewing down the perimeter and, and cutting off that extra cap. To make it look more natural, I felt like it needed one more track. So since I had a little bit of cap left at the top where my um, parting was, I decided just to glue on one extra track to make it a little bit more natural. Now as you can see, I'm just cutting off that excess cap around my perimeter and my edges are laid. And it looks really, really good, especially when you pull it back, which, which is what. You want. So here is the finished result. This is after me giving it a few long layers throughout. And now I'm just gonna curl it, everything backwards to give it a nice little va va boom and a little bouncy curl. I didn't want anything too, too curly, but I didn't want anything too flat. I just wanted a nice little bump in curl. And so because I wanted a little slight curl, I'm just gonna take my big one inch curling iron and just go backwards in nice big sections. It's not gonna be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. As you're about to see in a few seconds, I'm literally just gonna put it up and take it down like Easy peasy. So here is the finished look. I'm just gonna put it up in a nice little messy bun and go finish some makeup. So what do you guys think? Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what you guys think as well as giving this video a nice big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe, boo. Click that button. And until next time, guys, bye.